Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video featuring our new plugins for Photoshop, Lightroom, and Elements. I'm starting in Photoshop here to show you how to use the plugins from Photoshop. I have a couple images open here. I have an 8 bit per channel JPEG, small photo, and I have a 16 bit per channel raw photo of our late friend Will. And I'm going to send these photos over to QImage Ultimate using the plugin. If I go to File, Automate, QImage Ultimate, it will send the photos in all open tabs over to QImage Ultimate. Photoshop has prepared the photos and sent them to QImage Ultimate, and you can see that QImage Ultimate is opening to process the exported files. QImage Ultimate is now open and you can see the files here and you'll notice that it created a new folder based on the date and time of the export and there's a PS on the end to indicate that the export came from Photoshop. Now once the images are in here you can take the images and let's say print them at a 5x7 and so on. The 16-bit per channel color for the raw file and the 8-bit per channel color for that JPEG came across as did the color space information and so on. And the reason that we store these exports in folders named by the date and time are so that you can continue working with the photos that were exported at a future date. Let's say you printed this as a job and you come back a month from now and you want to go find this job and reprint it, you can do that because the export is saved in a folder by the date and time. Now this time I'm going to leave QImage open. QImage was initially closed. It was not open when I used the plugin from Photoshop. And I'm going to switch over to Lightroom now and I have a couple of images selected here in Lightroom and I'll show you how to invoke the plugin from Lightroom. In Lightroom we use File, Plugin Extras, and QImage Ultimate. And when we do that, Lightroom takes a moment to prepare the export for these files. And when the export is prepared and completed, it'll open QImage Ultimate. You see that it switches over to QImage Ultimate since it was already open. If it wasn't opened, it would have gone ahead and opened it. And now we have a new export folder with the new date and time, and we'll see an LR at the end of the folder name indicating that it was a Lightroom export. If we scroll up here a little bit in the tree, we can see the one from Photoshop that we did before that. So now we have a, a couple pictures here. Here's Fred taking a picture of me taking a picture of him. And uh, we want to print those at a 5 by 7 as well. So I'll select these and go ahead and select 5 by 7 So now on page 2, we have two photos from that were exported from Lightroom. And on page 1, we have the two photos from Photoshop, which are still there, of course, because if we go back to the Photoshop export, Remember that it will keep your exports so that you can continue working with them. That's basically all there is to it. Um, it expands the capability of QImage while also giving you a way to print with optimal quality from Photoshop, Lightroom, and Elements. In Photoshop, for example, you could open a PDF and rasterize, say, 16 pages, and then send those to QImage Ultimate and all 16 pages would show in your thumbnails here and you could print all 16. So it's just a, an easy way to print directly out of Photoshop. I'll show you one more thing here before I finish. Um, and that is that obviously there's no need to save these, export them, and then go open QImage and read them separately. These files that are being exported are the as edited copies. So if I make some changes here to this photo and I use the plugin to send that to QImage Ultimate and in this case I'll actually close this 
raw photo because I don't need that one anymore. Now I just have this one open and I want to send that one as edited back to QImage Ultimate. And now QImage Ultimate switches over to the new folder and here's your new image. And we can see that that image has the edits from Photoshop. So it's a great way to get your images from Photoshop or Lightroom into QImage Ultimate. And hopefully this instructional video will be helpful in showing you how to use the plugins. So enjoy your plugins and thanks for watching.